The NHL announcing it will suspend play immediately due to the virus. Joining us now to discuss the league's decision is the commissioner of the NHL, Gary Bettman. Commissioner Bettman, it's great to have you with us tonight. We so much appreciate your time. Uh, thank you, Scott. Uh, I'm not sure it's great. I'd rather be with you under other circumstances. And, and we, by the way, we, we've taken a pause. I'm, I'm a little hesitant to use the word suspension because our hope and our expectation is when things get back to normal and it's safe and it's prudent that we can go back and resume the season and ultimately have the Stanley Cup award. How did you arrive at your decision today? Well, we, we, for the last couple of weeks, we've, like everybody else, been monitoring uh, what's been going on. And we went from dealing with things on a day-to-day -day basis to an hour-by-hour hour -hour basis, and then it was in minutes. Uh, and we were constantly evolving our strategy as to how we were going to have our teams playing or not playing or under what circumstances. Uh, but last night when, when the NBA had a positive test, and they had to cancel a game at that moment, it was clear to me, uh, and through all of our calculus, we knew that once a player tested positive, it would be a game changer. I decided it was time to get ahead of it and not wait for one of our players to get tested because in all likelihood, at some point in time, we weren't going to get through the rest of the season without a player testing positive, particularly because the Utah Jazz, which is where the NBA player was from, uh, had used locker rooms within 24 hours of our teams using the same locker rooms in, in buildings that we share with the NBA. And I just decided instead of waiting for it to happen, we needed to get ahead of it. It was a decision that I had made last night, but I wanted to talk to my board this afternoon before we made an announcement. Uh, and we had a board conference call. Uh, I answered a lot of questions, and then we made the announcement. And throughout that process, in addition to being in touch with our teams and our medical people, we were working closely with the Players Association. So are you, are you telling us this evening that no NHL players at this point have tested positive for the virus? To the best of my knowledge, that is correct. Do you know of any around the league on any team in any city that is being monitored? Uh, not to not that I'm aware of. Uh, we've sent everybody home and we've asked them uh, to self-quarantine for the time being and we're going to continue to monitor the evolution of the coronavirus. It sounds to me as though you're somewhat optimistic that you may be able to have a season after all. How far into the summer would you be able to push the season off? You know what, that's a question that I can't answer right now. It's something that, that I and my, my senior staff are dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. It's going to evolve. We're looking at all contingencies. Uh, and when the circumstances are right that we can play, then we'll look at what we can do. Uh, my hope is that at some point uh, we'll get back to some normalcy. And that's not just my hope for the NHL, and it's not just my hope for all sports. It's hope for everything that's going on in this country. We wish the same. Commissioner, we appreciate your time this evening. Thanks for spending a little bit of it with us.